So good morning guys, welcome to episode 5 of Chicago Marathon Training. It is long run day, and it is about to absolutely pour down here, but it doesn't matter to me, gotta get the, gotta get the miles done. But today is kind of the, the first long run of the training cycle. It's 10 miles, nothing crazy. Um, the goal for today's workout, or today's run, is just kind of finish it. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just now starting to increase the runs. This is my first 10 mile run in quite a long time, it seems. Um, so yeah, today is just about getting it done. I'll uh, probably start a little bit slower then try to increase as we go along. So I'll be rocking the Zoom Fly 4s for this and then Vest, Morton Jill. Uh, I know it's, it's probably a little overkill, honestly. Uh, I really don't need any kind of goo or water for a 10 mile run. However, I want to be practicing um, with having this and having this gel because I've only taken this one time. So the goo, it's very important that you train with the goo that you're going to be running with for your race. Um, I've never tried that before. I've tried it during a workout, but not during a actual race. So I'm excited to actually try some of that stuff out. Hopefully it sits with my stomach because last race I had a one of the goo, just the strawberry, strawberry banana flavor, and it really messed up my stomach, which was kind of surprising because it normally doesn't. Um, but yeah, we're gonna warm up and get this run going and hopefully it doesn't pour on me too bad. You guys, of course, don't think I wouldn't bring you along for this journey. Got my GoPro. Let's switch you on over. How's that? <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully the quality is good. I haven't used my GoPro in a very, very long time, but let's get after it. Oh, we're three miles in, and it's starting to rain now. <laughs> Not too bad, just kind of a drizzle. I just hope. It doesn't get worse than this. <laughs> then we're gonna have some problems. Just had my Morton Jill. About a little past five miles, like five and a half miles. Even though I probably don't need a gel at five miles in. I've been practicing for the long run. Because I'm gonna do my gels every five miles in increments. So best part of getting up early. You can run through places like this, the island, where, you know, during busy time, 8.30, 9 o'clock in about an hour, nah, you can't run through here <laughs> with people all around, so, Got about three miles left, so, yeah, I started, uh, I started going down a little bit in pace, not too much, about 6.55 pace, just, Legs aren't feeling that hot, so I'll check out the car. <laughs> so, yeah, just gonna keep it right below seven flat pace and uh, just get the rest of the run done. Just finished the run, guys. Man, it started coming down in buckets towards the end right at seven flat pace. Um, you know, I wanted to go a little bit quicker, but I don't know, my legs just, uh, legs really weren't feeling it today, which is no big deal. You know, first first long run of training cycle. Um, but overall, like, I was I was really happy with the, with the way I went. <laughs> you guys are tired a little bit. Sorry, my phone is soaked. Yeah. Well, I had a plastic bag over my phone. I was rolling with my phone. But that vest, guys, if you don't know, for Runner's Empire, that vest I was wearing, man, coming in clutch. Let me tell you, holding everything, just perfect. I can't wait to wear that for like 20 miles and it wasn't, wouldn't bother me. But make a protein shake. Uh, protein, I, 
I'll show you guys which protein I use in the future. It's not the crazy, it's just kind of a uh, kind of a lean protein. Um, I don't drink it after every run, just after workouts, and I'll be doing it on long run days. But yeah, one approach that I got from a lot of people during my like asking questions about marathon prep was you know, how do you mentally prepare for the long run? Uh, because long run was the di most difficult part and is the most difficult part of the marathon. So biggest tip I got, which really helped today, was treat your long runs like race day. Not in terms of, you know, racing it, but in terms of, you know, the days leading up to it, carb up, get enough sleep the days before, and just do your morning routine like you would race day. And I did that this morning and paid off quite a bit. I was a little tired. I didn't get that much rest last night. So I got to fix that. So I got plenty of time to do that. Um, but overall, it was it was a very successful day. Uh, the first first long run. Uh, 10 miles, not that long a long run, but we just increased from here. 10 miles is the shortest long run I'll do on the weekends from now on, basically till race day. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching episode Five of Chicago Marathon Training. Let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, I'm here to maybe help motivate you guys, help you guys in any sense. And I hope you guys can help me, give me tips, anything. I, I love hearing your tips and tricks a lot. A lot of you are giving me tips on Instagram, but please comment down below on the tips you would give me on here as well. But anyway, guys, gotta drink this, gotta relax, maybe take an ice bath and just relax the rest of the day. Anyway, guys, cheers. I'll see you on the next one.